Hey guys, this is Christian Thibodeau, the French Vin Diesel, and Leticia, the only Leticia that matters in the world. We're gonna talk about selecting the C-Series exercise for your squatting movement pattern. Now, the role of the C-Series exercise is to target a very specific weakness. In the E-Series, it's the main big lift, so of course, it's the more multi-joint movement, higher neurological demand. The B series is also a multi-joint movement addressing the weaker link in the E series. And the C series, you have a little bit more leeway in its selection. It could be an isolation movement, could be even a machine exercise. But the goal is you select a mean that has the lowest neurological cost and also make it the easiest to really target on that weak link. Now, you can either go unilateral, like a lunge or split squat, Peterson step up, or bilateral, depending on the body type. If you have longer limbs, normally you will go with a unilateral exercise. People with longer limbs, they need more unilateral work. People with shorter limbs don't need as much. So if I have short limbs, which is the case, and I want to emphasize glutes, for example, that's where the dreaded hip thrust could be helpful. I'm not saying dreaded. it's... Dreaded. Well, I say dreaded because it, it, it's an exercise that is very polarizing. 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 Uh, you have coaches that are dead set against the hip thrust because oh, if you do a heavy hip thrust, it's it going to hurt your hips. And I kind of agree with that. Uh, and you have the other side of the spectrum that swear by the hip thrust and make a huge living from it. And if your goal is to target your glute, it is a very good exercise if you use it properly, okay? So let's set up for a hip thrust. Can you, have a, can you bring a bench? To the magic of cinema, we're now set up for a hip thrust. Now, the way I see the hip thrust, I see it the way I see any isolation exercise. It's to target a muscle group. And that's where special training methods come into play. So what I'm gonna have Leticia do here is an isodynamic hip thrust. So we're gonna use a dumbbell that's gonna put on your hips. You know the drill. Now, what I want to do is use an isometric action at the beginning of the movement to, uh, to make the brain focus on contracting the glutes. I'm gonna program my brain to squeeze the glutes and using the glutes in the movement. So get into the highest position and I want you to squeeze your glutes as hard as humanly possible in that position for 20 to 30 seconds. Now, I know it's really fun to look at Leticia do a hip thrust, but 30 seconds is still a long time for a video. So let's just pretend it's been 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds have been done, she's going to be doing six to eight to 10 reps going down and squeezing up squeezing up two or three seconds. Remember, every isometric action recruits up to 10% more muscle fibers. That's why we're using the isometric action at the beginning of the exercise to really program using those glutes in the movement. Excellent. So you don't need to go that heavy. It doesn't stress the pelvis. Now, the reason I say it's a polarizing exercise is that I don't believe the hip thrust is a great way to increase athletic performance, but to specifically target the glutes, it's a great movement to fix that specific weakness. And in the C-series, what you want, you want to minimize neurological demands, okay? So I'm selecting an exercise that maybe doesn't have the same neurological stress as a squat or a deadlift, for example, and I'm using less weight to decrease neurological demand and physiological stress, but I'm using training methods that make it hard even with the lighter weight. So that's why I, I use the isodynamic contrast here. All of these methods, isodynamic contrast, more than 30 methods are being taught in the online course about hypertrophy that I have prepared for the Clean Health Fitness Institute. So if you're more interested in those training methods, be sure to check out that course. So until next time, this is Christian and Natisha saying fist of victory next time.